This is number video of 15 solving multi-step board problems with equations. Let's go ahead and get started with our um, homework. Take out this sheet here. Um, we're going to do four problems together. And then you have four practice problems here at the bottom that you can work on. Problem number one. Okay. Like all word problems, we start by highlighting the question. What are we going to answer first? Um, we want to figure out how old is her father. Okay, so now we're going to assign that to variable f. f is for father's age. Okay, then we start building our equation. What does everything equal? Well, let's read the rest of the problem. Karma's age is two years less than three eighths of her father's age. If Karma is 13 years old. Okay. So 13, okay, and what equals 13? Two years less than three-eighths of her father's age. So we need three-eighths of her father's age. And then we're going to, it says less than, so we're going to subtract two. Okay, now let's go, that's our expression, now solve it. So add negative two, so we're going to add two to both sides. So we end up with three-eighths F is equal to 15. Cancel out a fraction, we multiply by the reciprocal of that fraction by just flipping the numerator and denominator around. So f, these two cancel each other out, so f is equal to 15 times 8 over 3. Now, if you have a calculator, go ahead and take that out and we do 15 times 8 thirds and we get 40 years. You can download the um, calculator. I have a video here on YouTube for how to download the calculator so that you have it for your PC and you can use. Okay, so that might be a good thing to do since we are going to be working with some fractions and some decimals today. Moving on, video number two. Okay, let's go to the question. How many miles has he driven? So let's highlight that question. How many miles has he driven? And since we're trying to figure out the number of miles, we're going to do m. m is for number of miles. Okay, and then our equation, everything equals. Well, let's read the rest of the process. Last week, Kiwi filled his 16 gallon tank with gas. On average, his car burns 0 0.03 gallons of gas per mile. Kiki has four gallons left in his tank. Okay, so everything equals 16. So that's this whole tank. Okay, now what equals 16? Well, it burns 0 0.03 gallons of gas per mile. So we got to take that times m. But he had three gallon, four gallons left in his tank. So we're going to add that to it. Okay. So there's our expression. Now to solve our expression, we're going to add negative 4 to both sides. And what we end up with is 0 0.03m is equal to 12. Okay. Now we're going to divide by 0 0.03, divide by 0 0.03, and we're going to get m is equal to the date. 12 divided by 0 0.03, 400 miles. Okay. Now let's take a look at number 3. Okay. How many cups will it fit in a dispenser that is 30 centimeters high? Okay, so that's our question. So we're trying to figure out the number of, <coughs> excuse me, cups. So we're going to do C is for number of cups. Okay. Now equals, and let's read the rest of the problem. The drawing shows a stack of paper cups. The cups are 10 centimeters high. Each cup after the first adds 0 0.6 or 0.8 centimeters to the height of the stack. How many cups will fit in a dispenser that is 30 centimeters high? Okay, is 30 centimeters high. That's what everything can total. 
So that's going to be on the right hand side. Um, then the cups are 10 centimeters high. So if you look at this picture here, okay, the first cup is going to be 10 centimeters high. Okay, so we're going to take that, put it over here. Okay, but then we're going to add, I think, is it 0.8 per cup? Okay, so we're going to do plus 0.8 centimeters per cup. So that's going to be 0.8C. Now, we add negative 10 to both, that's our expression then in our equation. Add negative 10 to both sides, we get 0.8C is equal to 20. Okay. Now we're going to divide by 0.8, 20 divided by 0.8. So we get C is equal to 25. Okay. Now, number four, here we go, number four, highlight your question down here. Okay, if the total cost was how far was, was the truck driven? Okay, so we're looking for a distance, and we're measuring distance in miles, right? So I'm, my variable is going to be M is for miles driven the truck was driven okay everything equals now buck rented a truck for 39.95 plus 32 cents per mile before returning the truck he filled the tank with gas which cost nine dollars and eighty cents if the total cost was seventy dollars and twenty three cents how far was the truck driven okay so everything equals seventy dollars and twenty three cents now what equals that well, the $39.95 plus $0.32 cents per mile, and then we have filled the tank with gas, which costs $9.80. So we're going to do $39.95 plus, and then it's $0.32 cents per mile. Okay, and erase this because we need more room for our expression. We already know everything equals. $70.23. And then um, another cost of $9.80. So plus $9.80. Okay, since we have a pretty complicated expression here on the, on the left hand side, we're going to simplify it by taking $39.95 and adding $9.80. So we're going to combine those like terms. So that's $49.75. Plus 0.32 m equals seven dollars and twenty three cents. So essentially, what we did was combine this term and this term. Okay. Now we're going to add the opposite 49.75 to both sides. Okay, and that's going to cancel this term out. We're going to be left with 32.32 m is equal to well, 70.23. Plus negative 49.75 equals $20.48. Now I'm going to take that 20 and $20.48 and divide it by 0 0.32. So we get M is equal to 20.48 divided by 32 is. That I can get. I did, okay, let me read it like that. 20.48 divided by 0.32. I'll put 30. So 64 miles is our answer. Okay, now let's go ahead and we can do some practice problems. Okay, here's practice problem number five. Okay, pause the video, work out the problem, do your variable assignment equation solution. Okay. And then when you unpause it, the answer will be up on the screen for you. So go ahead and pause it, work this problem out, and then unpause it. Okay, here's your answer for number five. Okay, and let's take a look at number six. Pause it again, let's pause the video, work this problem out, your variable assignment, equation, and solution. 
Okay, on pause the video and then check your work. Okay, now that you've on paused the video, here is the answer. It's four dollars and fifty cents per hour. Okay, and let's try practice problem number seven. Go ahead and pause the video, work out this problem, and then you can come back and check it. Okay, this is your answer for number seven, 595 calories. And then number eight, your last problem. Okay, go ahead and pause this video, work out the problem, variable equation, and solution. On pause it and check your work. Here is your answer to 60 feet. Check your equation, make sure you have it correct. Okay. Thank you for doing your homework tonight.